This is a video on the Polar H10. Now I bought this uh, Polar H10, actually I bought two of them. Um, I accidentally ordered two by mistake, but anyway, I had bought, I bought these off Amazon through their warehouse um, deals and due to the box has been ripped and it's been pre-opened um, I find that you get it for a lot between 10 to 15 pounds cheaper than if you was to buy it brand new. Inside the box, if I open the box this is what you get inside the box you get the new H10 sensor and the strap and if we lift up here you get the manuals getting started manual and some other leaflets which is generally warranties and that uh, which you get with it Now I'm going to show you um, what the sensor looks like on the band. Now this is what the sensor looks like on the strap. I'll take it off. Now this is how the sensor comes. It's like that. Now it's very flat. It looks to me like it's slightly longer than the old um, H7 heart rate monitor which is a very good heart rate monitor um, this is the battery compartment which you can pry open here and there's the battery and we'll have a look which size battery goes in here I'll try and get it out with my fingers it's a bit difficult but there it is and it takes a CR 20 25 battery and as you can see you can use this heart rate monitor for swimming and it's got a nice rubber seal around and it simply clips back in so you just got to line up the edge here and then just clip it in yeah you, you'll hear it clipping and that's clipped in. Now um, to fasten it onto, we'll look at the belt. These contacts here go with the contacts on there so they snap in. I'll try my best to fit the belt in but the strap in, sorry if I move the sensor to one side. Um, obviously the contacts here, they are um, electrodes here which pick up your the signals from your heart also on the band you have these which is different than the old one now the old band you have these um, silicon dots which are very tack very tacky and this helps grabs uh, fits onto your body more securely than the old band because this was not produced on the H7 on the old one this was no longer on there. This wasn't on there at all. Uh, we have a new style clip, which is like this now, which you simply push in and take out, and it snaps back in. There. Yeah. So, and these dots again. So it's a different kind of um, strap than the H7. Now I'll show you the H7. Now this is the H7 which I was using up until today. And as you can see the H7, uh, this is Bluetooth as well. And as I said, and this one is Bluetooth. Same snaps into place. The battery compartment is here, but you used to use a coin or a screwdriver to turn this to do it as you can see on here it says open close and open so you should turn this mark 
to that mark and this will come out we look at the belt oh let's compare the sensors first so I'll take that one off move the belts to the side and there's the sensor now the top one is the H7 and the bottom one the H10 and as you can see if I bring them up to the camera the H10 is a little bit more thinner than the H7 at a side profile so under your clothing this will not stick out so much as the old H7 and as you can see the H7 is a little bit broader uh, in width than in height sorry than the H10 and if I put one on top of the other it looks like the H10 may be slightly yes you can see it there it's slightly bigger uh, longer than the H7 so what you lose out in width here um, you gain in length so it's flatter but longer than the H7 now both of these are excellent monitors these are excellent monitors um, heart rate monitors um, the main difference with the H10 to the H7 is the algorithms in measuring your heart is significantly been updated than the H7 so it picks up even more of a signal than the H7 does so the H10 picks up more of a signal than the H7 which is good because this is still good uh, one of the best on the market but this is it made it even more of an improvement so it picks up more of a signal to your heart which gives you a more accurate um, heart rate um, in detection and more accurate heart rate um, to your apps and that so that's one and two you can store it has I think it's four gigabytes that it stores your um, your workout on so you don't necessarily have to bring your phone with you um, when using um, the polar app um, runkeeper Strava um, any of those apps you don't necessarily have to bring your phone with you um, to monitor your heart rate because this will store the data on it and then when it reconnects back to your phone it will then download it to your phone um, to your phone onto those apps so as I says this one the H10 can store workout data on so you don't necessarily have to walk uh, or run with your phone uh, work out with your phone unless you've got a workout program that has the list of all your workouts in the gym on it you don't necessarily have to bring your phone with this one because it will store the data um, onto it while the H7 does not you still have to bring your phone with you um, to upload the heart rate data to it so then that's the main difference and that's why I traded up um, up to the to the polar H10 plus it was an Amazon warehouse deal and I don't mind I don't mind the box being ripped and that because after all I'll be keeping this for a long time because I've had this for a very long time so I'll be keeping this for a long time so the box condition um, it's it's nothing to me at all as long as I can get money off uh, on the latest one so it is worth to me updating to this one because as I says the algorithms and how it measures your heart rate is more intensive on this one than the H7 or straps this is the Polar H10 strap and this is the Polar H7 strap and as you can see the electrodes on here you just get it here 
while the electrodes on this one on the H10 is there but you get a bit of a I do not quite sure if there's electrodes in these parts here they might be they might not be um, they could be because they feel more raised like this than the other bands than the rest of the band so it could be electrodes here as well um, I'll mainly show you the locking system which I would have preferred on the H10 than the H7 now on the H10 we have a locking system like I showed you already which is like that that clips in now this is made of plastic it's a hard durable plastic but it's plastic while on the H7 on their band this is a metal hook basically it's a metal hook which connects into on the on the other side a cloth uh, loop and basically you just slide that down there and that stays into place friction keeps that into place uh, so it doesn't slide off so friction keeps that into place and I prefer th this method because when it comes to plastic connectors like this um, you have to really look after them because if you don't and that snaps this band is now useless while with this because this was metal and this was just cloth um, the chances of you ruining this band um, connection here is significantly uh, less greater than if you damage this one so I don't know why they didn't stick to a metal hook and cloth loop which to me would have been more better it could be um, they done it because of um, saving money um, they could have done it because of that so I do not know but I prefer the H7 band um, connection than the H10 even though I've worn this today uh, for about an hour and it, it's comfortable just as comfortable as this because even though that's got this flap over here um, that's obviously to take the pinch of this on your skin um, this was this is comfortable but this is really comfortable as well so so that's the only big significant difference and that the H7 strap does not have um, these silicon dots um, so the problem which I used to have with this strap is that um, it would bunch as you can see it would bunch up where my arm just under my armpits here you can actually see the fold in there where it would fold or not fold up inside itself but more fold up that way so um, and I made various adjustments with that one on the H7 so as I, um, I, will, I will state that this is still a good if you can't afford the H10 the H7 is still a very good heart rate monitor um, to have um, for your gym and for your running and your workouts in general it's still a great one but if you want even more accurate heart rate detection um, step up to the H10 if you can step up to the H10 because as I says you don't have to bring your phone with you um, it will store data um, I'm not quite sure how many workout data it will store I and all I know is that it stores data um, so I'm not quite sure how much it stores but as I said it's got built-in memory oh um, I've just looked on the box and it says it'll store data for uh, one training session sorry so for one training session um, but there are other people on YouTube that had stated that they've used this and stored a couple of their training sessions on this and it downloaded it so my guess is it probably stores about four hours of um, work now just it. before I go I'll just show you how to store how to connect the H10 to your Apple watch now 
basically what you have to do is to connect the H10 to your Apple Watch is go into settings go down to scroll you go into settings and you go down to Bluetooth so you go to Bluetooth and you'll see any devices that was connected to your Apple Watch will be up here like my iPods were connected to this Apple Watch and you'll come down to and you come down to health devices now all you basically do is and I'll show you one here put on the H7 onto you the best thing to do is put the H7 on right don't do the hand method because I've tried that and what happens is you just get the word um, connect uh, not connect uh, not paired and you don't get the words obviously what it tells you that it's a H10 you don't get that so best thing to do is put this on the moment you put this on it will come up as H polar H10 not paired you click on that I've, I've just touched it now but you click on that and then it will connect to the polar h10 and as you and as you could see the words polar h10 plus the serial number of the device comes up here and once that's done that is it you don't have to do that any you don't have to keep connecting it anymore all you do is to make sure when you put it on for your next training session yeah all you do is when you put it on to your next training session yes to, you just connect it um, once you've done that Anytime when you come to use this again, all you do, just have a check, just go to Bluetooth, go to settings, then Bluetooth, scroll down to health devices, and this should be already connected automatically. So your H10 or your H7 will be connected automatically, but you have to wear it. I suggest that you put it on and wear it, because it makes, because this sends out even more of a stronger signal for it to pick it up rather than the hand method I do not do the hand method at all where somebody try to connect it by using their hands by grabbing the two uh, electrodes either side to connect it first I don't I do not use use that method um, and then once that's connected then it will then it, every time you put this on a bit like your iPods it will just automatically connect to it and then you can go into your various um, apps your running apps or your weight training apps that allow the connection of a, um, a bluetooth monitor to it uh, then you can use that now um, thank you for this video uh, thank you for watching this video I, I, I know it was long please like and please subscribe thank you very much